The capital city is staring down the barrel of the largest property tax increase in more than 10 years. The first draft of next year's budget is a 12.17% increase, including a $365.6 million operating budget and a $94.6 million capital budget. If it's adopted next spring, the typical residential property could face a $376 property tax increase and a typical business could see a $1,000 increase. The mayor says that's unacceptable. The clear message has come back to us in all the engagement we've done is uh, double digits is too high, obviously, and we need you to look at cutting programs uh, rather than continuing to look at that high uh, property tax increase. Council has asked all departments to go back to the drawing board and chop, including the police department, which is requesting a 9.7% budget increase, the equivalent of a nearly $7 million increase. We have a request for seven additional staff, four police positions and three civilian positions. We need to be adding more strength and having greater capacity to provide a better service, not be reducing service at this time. After being asked to cut their budget wish list by $2 million, the answer was no. Reducing the budget by that amount was a non-starter. The chief warns if their budget request is not fulfilled, it would amount to layoffs, putting public safety in jeopardy. That would be significant service cuts, uh, that would be reduction in service, uh, and, and it would impact public safety. So far, the Victoria Police Board hasn't offered up a middle ground. There's very little that there is to negotiate out of the police department's budget. And as the conversations continue, undoubtedly so will the pressure on VicVD to join the rest of the city's departments to find compromise.